All right, folks, October 19th is fast approaching. We'll be having the very first annual Mopar versus Brand X Streetcar Showdown. There's a lot of rules to go along with this. There's three different classes, two of which you'll have to do the cruise, which is gonna be about 40 miles through the forest, leaving from the drag strip and returning back there. Um, you need to be at the drag strip at 10 a.m. on race day. However, the day prior, if you want, we'll be meeting at the Decatur City Festival. It's called Third Fridays. It's near the Princess Theater in downtown Decatur, Alabama. Um, we'll go ahead and text some of the cars in there, get your numbers on the window, go through any questions you might have, and basically get it prepared for race day. But on the 19th, 10 a.m., Jake's Drag Strip, need to be there. Now, what you're going to have to have is a 1999 and older vehicle, rear wheel drive. The Gladiator Street class is the lowest of the classes. This class is the one that I'm gonna harp about the rules the very most. You have to understand that this is to keep competitive so that everybody can enjoy these old hot rods and be competitive amongst other old hot rods and keep kind of the race cars out of that one. For the race cars, we got two more classes. One is just basically Gladiator Street plus, you know, it's called Barely Legal and it's gonna be a little more lax on the tires, drivetrain swaps, um, fuels, power adders, things of that nature. That's where you're gonna be able to run E85. Now, the rules for Gladiator Street are as follows. It must be a 1999 and older rear wheel drive vehicle, pump gas only, 295 or smaller treaded drag radials, no slicks. The manufacturer must not state prohibited from street use. You must be able to prove registration and insurance, and it's gotta be capable of 40 plus miles of street driving the day of the event. You must retain factory style rear suspension. The factory frame is mandatory. Mufflers, battery, charging system, working lights are all mandatory. You must have a period correct engine uh, within five years of the day your car was built. Um, no aftermarket race blocks, no power adders, nitrous, turbochargers, or superchargers. No trans brakes, air shifters, secondary rev limiters, launch control, delay box, or throttle stops. Also, no dominator carburetors or throttle body sized equivalent. Now, in the Bandit Street, you're gonna be able to run anything. But the next class, which is barely legal, we're gonna loosen the reins just a little bit and you'll be able to run any and all drivetrains are welcome. Um, also, the power adder law is taken away. You can now run turbos, superchargers, and nitrous in the barely legal. And also with dominator carburetors, throttle body size equivalent, all that goes away. And the tire size remains limited at 295. However, um, any of the drag radials are allowed, which are ET Street Pro, ET Pro Drag, ET Street R, Hoosier DOTs. Those are all allowed and barely legal. The last class, which is the fastest of the classes, is the Bandit Street. Um, this one, you won't have to street drive. You don't have to go on the cruise. However, where you can now run a race block, you can run any tire size you want, uh, any rear suspension, any and all the trans brake, air shifter, secondary rev limiter, launch control, delay box, throttle body, uh, throttle stops. All fuels are welcome. You don't have to have mufflers or a charging system, but um, that's the quick rundown of all the rules. Uh, remember the Gladiator Street is the one with the most limitations and that's just to keep competitive. The two lowest classes, Gladiator Street and Barely Legal, you will have to be doing the cruise through the forest. It's about 40 miles or so. Uh, it's all curvy, snaking through the forest. Um, and we'll be stopping at a Sunoco gas station at the bottom of the hill. And you guys that I think may or may not be questionable for the pump gas uh, Gladiator Street class, that's where I may advise you to put five gallons of 93 octane in. Uh, and that's just to verify that your car is in fact a pump gas friendly um, street car. I need to know in advance, you Brand X guys, uh, make sure you're emailing me, sending me a message on Facebook or Instagram, YouTube. Uh, I just need to know what I'm dealing with as far as the Brand X cars. Uh, I would like a million Mopars, but I can't have that many Brand X guys because of track time, uh, staging lanes, organization and all of that. I'm gonna be plug pulling you guys out of the pits by the number on your window on who you're gonna be racing, uh, whereas the staging lanes are gonna be stacked with Mopars. So you're not uninvited, please come, but make sure that I know that you're coming. So you can do that at Austin's Muscle Car Clinic. So please keep me in the know on that and I'll keep 
information coming out all the way up to race day. Uh, hope to see you guys there. I think there's going to be a pretty large group of these old hot rods that show up. Uh, so we brought about some of these rules. So make sure that you watch the end of this video uh, in plain English text uh, so you can read and heed and share that with your friends and invite them to come out and race with us.